हेलो गाइस दिस इज भूपेंद्र सिंह एंड यू आर वाचिंग अवर यूट्यूब चैनल एस एम ई देहरादून इन द रेस्बेरी पाई सीरीज ऑफ द वीडियो टुडे आई विल टेल यू हाउ यू कैन कनेक्ट योर रेस्बेरी पाई बोर्ड विद द न्यू ब्लिंक 2.0 पॉइंट जीरो आई ओ टी मोबाइल ऐप एंड वेब डेस्क बोर्ड वी हैव टेकन डी एस टी वन वन सेंसर एंड सेंड द लाइव ह्यूमिडिटी एंड टेम्परेचर डेटा टू द न्यू ब्लिंक टू पॉइंट जीरो यूजिंग रेस्बेरी पाई सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद इट वी रिक्वायर्ड फॉलोइंग कॉम्पोनेंट्स रेसबेरी पाई डी एस टी वन वन और डी एस टी टू टू सेंसर रेसबेरी पाई पावर सप्लाई एंड फ्यू जम्पर्स और कनेक्टिंग वायर्स लेट्स कनेक्ट द हार्डवेयर दिस इज रेसबेरी पाई थ्री बी प्लस दिस इज अ डी एस टी वन वन सेंसर इट हैज थ्री पिंस एज यू कैन सी VCC data and ground. I have taken three wires to connect the DST sensor with Raspberry Pi. I am connecting the VCC pin of the DST sensor to the 5 volt and ground pin to ground of the Raspberry Pi. Connect the data pin of the DST11 sensor to the GPIO4 pin of the Raspberry Pi. So the connection has been done. Now time to configure the Blink template. So go to your web browser and open the Blink dot cloud website. Here log in to your account and if you don't have an account, then you can click on the create new account. Once log in to your account, you can see the new template button to create your project. So click on the new template button. Property gets opened. Here, write the name for your project template, Blink with Raspberry Pi, and select the hardware as Raspberry Pi. Choose the connection type as Wi-Fi. Write the project description as Blink with Raspberry Pi, and click on Done. So this is how you can create your project template for Raspberry Pi. Let's add a device to the new Blink. Click on the Search tab. You will get the new device button. Click on it. Here, click on From Template to add the project manually. Here, click on Choose Template and select the template that we have just created as blank with Raspberry Pi. And click on the Create button. Once created, we have got blank credentials of our template. You can also get these credentials at the Device Info tab. Let's add the virtual pins to our project template so click here and click on the edit dashboard here click on the data stream tab we have got the new data stream button click on it and then click on virtual pin virtual pin property gets opened right here the name as humidity virtual pin as v0 and data type as double Search here the unit as percentage and write the max value to 100. Choose the decimal value to two digit after decimal and click on create. Similarly, we create the virtual pin for temperature data. Click on the new data stream and then virtual pin. In the virtual pin property, write the name as temperature, virtual pin as V1 and data type as double. Select the unit as degree and write the max value 200 decimal value must be two digits after decimal as you can see here now click on create button we have successfully created the virtual pins let's create the web dashboard to display humidity and temperature values so click on the web dashboard here drag and drop the gauss widget and label widget in the dashboard so that we can display the humidity and temperature data in gauze and label widgets as well so hover the mouse to the gauze widget and you will get the setting icon click on it to open the gauze widget property in the property choose the data stream as humidity v0 select the color as yellow and click on save now open the label property select the data stream as humidity v0 
select the color as yellow and click on save setting click on the second course widget setting icon in the property select the data stream as temperature v1 select the color as violet and click on save button now open the property of second label widget inside choose the data stream as temperature v1 and select the color as sky blue and click on save button finally click on the save and apply button so we have configured the virtual pins and the blank web dashboard let's first configure the new blank iot mobile app after that we will go for the programming of this project right so go to the app store or play store search for the blank we have got the blank iot app as you can see install this app to your mobile i have already installed it after installation open the blank iot app and log into it after the login you will get the project template inside it like this so click on it to configure click here now and inside click on the plus icon we will add goals and label widgets to display the humidity and temperature data to our mobile app so scroll below and add two goals widgets to the dashboard also add two label widgets arrange the size and place them as per your requirements now click on the first gauge widget to configure it select the title alignment as center select the data stream as humidity v0 and back to the dashboard click on the second gauge widget select the title alignment as center select the data stream as temperature v1 and back to the dashboard we have configured the gauge widgets now configure the label click on the first label and select the title alignment as center select the data stream as humidity v0 and back to the dashboard now click on the second label select the title alignment as center select the data stream as temperature v1 and back to the dashboard so guys we have configured our new blank mobile app so let's switch on the raspberry pi I will access the Raspberry Pi in my laptop using VNC Viewer. If you don't know how to use VNC Viewer to access the Raspberry Pi, then the link is available in the video description to guide you how you can do it. So I am attaching the 5 volt 3 ampere power supply to the Raspberry Pi. As you can see, it has been powered up. This is the VNC viewer on my laptop. I am accessing Raspberry Pi using the IP address of the Raspberry Pi. As you can see, I have accessed the Raspberry Pi desktop in my laptop. First, we need to install the Adafruit DST sensor library in the Raspberry Pi to run the DST sensor. I have already made a video on how to get DST sensor data to Raspberry Pi. So watch my video on the YouTube and try to get the DST11 sensor data in the Raspberry Pi terminal. Okay. Link is available in the video description. Once you have successfully installed the DST sensor library, then install the new Blink library. Open the LX terminal. Go to the root folder of the Raspberry Pi using cd slash home slash pi. Now run this command to clone the blank python library in the root folder. This command will install the blank python library in your Raspberry Pi. As I have already installed the blank library, so I code the library already exists message here in the terminal. Once you have installed both of the DST and blank libraries, then we need to create a program file using a text editor. Go to the accessories and click on the text editor. Now go to the video description and click on the link for the programming code. This link will redirect you to the Nutty Engineer company website. Here scroll below and this is the complete program. Copy this program. 
and paste it into the text editor. So this is the program to send DST11 sensor data to new Blink 2.0 IoT. In the top of the programming code, we import the DST sensor library of Adafruit and time. We define and store the DST11 sensor data to DST sensor. If you are using DST22 or DST21 sensor, then replace it here. Right? Below, we define the DST pin to 4 as we have connected the DST11 sensor to the GPIO4 pin. Here, we need to replace the blink authentication code of our project template. So, go to your new blink website. Here, click on the search tab. Click on your device name and inside it click on the device info tab here you got your blank credentials here we need only the authentication token to connect the raspberry pi we haven't required all of these three credentials like we used in arduino id okay so copy the authentication token and paste it in the place of this token this is must Otherwise, Raspberry Pi will not be connecting to your blank project. Below, initialize the blank token to connect the Raspberry Pi with the blank server. As we haven't needed to call here the Wi-Fi name and password like we do in the Arduino code. Because Raspberry Pi is already connected to the internet using Wi-Fi network through its internal Wi-Fi. Right? Now, we initialize the blank timer so that below we can call our function as per the timer while raspberry pi is connected to the blank server then we print the message in the terminal as we have connected to the new blank 2.0 here we have defined my data function in which we read the dst sensor inside it we store the values in the humidity and temperature variable by passing the arguments for dst sensor and the pin number after it we print the humidity and temperature values to the LX terminal. If the variable didn't receive the values, then we print that sensor failure check wires in the terminal. Now we send the humidity values to the V0 and temperature values to the V1 virtual pin. After it, we will print the message as values sent to the new blink server. We call our myData function every 2 seconds through this command. In this while function, we call the blank.run function and timer.run function. Now we need to save this program. This program will run only inside the blink library. So you need to save this program inside the blink python library folder. So go inside this folder. Now write the name for this program file as dst11 new blink 2.py and click on save. You can see this program file inside the blank library. This is the program file, right? So now time to do live testing of the dst11 sensor with new blink 2.0. Open the terminal. Go inside the blink python library folder using cd blink library python command. Now run the program file using sudo python tst11 new blink 2.py command. Once we enter to run this command, you can see the blink logo has been shown in the terminal window and we also got the message you have connected to new blink 2.0. Right? We are getting the values of the humidity and temperature in the terminal window. Now let's see the live data of the DST11 sensor in the new Blink web dashboard. So go to the new Blink website. In the search tab, this is our device. As you can see guys, our device is online because programming code is running on the Raspberry Pi. Click on the device and you can see your project dashboard. We are getting the humidity and temperature values in the cause and label widgets. While I am blowing air in the DST11 sensor, the moisture value is going high. Let's check the data in the Blink IoT mobile app. 
we are also getting the live values of the humidity and temperature in the mobile app. So this is working perfectly with the Raspberry Pi. DST11 sensor is working perfectly with the Raspberry Pi. So guys, this is how you can connect any sensor to the Raspberry Pi and send the values to the new Blink IoT app as I have demonstrated here. So thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel and videos. Stay tuned for more innovation with us.